Hello everyone, this is Ranjit from GCS IR team. In this video, I will discuss how to install IR client on a Windows machine and point it to the IR server running on Linux or any other Unix machine. So here is the agenda prerequisites we need for IR client installation and I will give a demo how to install and uh, point it to the uh, server. So first get a download link from the shipping and extract it to your local directory. Then set java home and java bin path in your uh, your environment and make sure uh, uh, license server is up and running on your IR server. So uh, I will give a demo now. I have extracted IR installer here. Launch install.exe as an administrator because it will create uh, IR batch files in uh, system startup menu so you can launch IR console from there as we are going to install only client so select the third option now here you need to give your license server host and port details so I have my IR servers are running here so I will check the license server is up and running so it is running and the port is 1160 and host name is Elentra Here you need to give the uh, installation directory for th for the client. Click on next. Here you can select the components you want to install. So I am selecting the SSN M3 workbench and IR client. Click on next. So here you need to give the server host and port details so host is Elentra I will give it for all the server host Here you need to point out the server in uh, server uh, server work directory path. To check the server work directory path, go to server env directory. So server work directory is IDS directory. Now click on install to install it. Okay, so installation is completed now. I can close the installer. So you can see IR client has installed here. You can run ITS con command with hyphen A option to launch the client. So here you need to give your rule based details to log into the con console. So this is how you can install the IR client. And at the end we always love to hear from you. 
please give your feedback at support videos at that informatica.com or you can give your feedback feedback on twitter as well thank you